And welcome all to all of our presenters, participants, distinguished guests to the first West Africa Marine Science Symposium. <laughs> With beautiful drama, dance, and drums, the Ghanaian culture was displayed at the West African Marine Science Symposium at the African Regent Hotel in Accra. From the 18th to the 20th of August, young but brilliant minds met to discuss the promotion of marine environmental health at the West African Marine Science Symposium, thus protecting the ocean and what resides in it. In oceanography and marine science, we have what we call Ocean Health Index, OHI. It's a framework for assessing ocean health based on the sustainable provision of benefits and services people expect from a healthy ocean, such as food, cultural, and social values, and jobs. Healthy ocean provides healthy corals, but a polluted ocean provides what? Dead corals, shells all over the place. Other topics that were captured through the various presentations included protecting life in the ocean, fostering partnerships to advance ocean science in West Africa, and also ocean knowledge generation. Anthropogenic activities they pollute aquatic habitats with many substances, such as metals, uh, oils like uh, total hydrocarbons, and this constrict environmental sustainability. And this has also been affecting uh, marine populations uh, that are endemic to the coastal areas. And so that's why there's a need for us to be able to assess the level of this pollution, to be able to know the way forward in managing our marine ecosystems. Human health is real, must be sustained. The same thing, ocean health is real and must be sustained. A healthy ocean is like a functional human heart that sustains and supports life. When the heart stops breathing, that means the person is dead. When the heart stops malfunctioning, its rhythm changes, resulting in heart failure. A healthy body is a healthy mind, and a healthy ocean is a functional ecosystem. In other words, a polluted ocean is a failed ecosystem. That means it has failed to carry out its functions. The West African Marine Science Symposium highlighted the need to keep the ocean safe, a conversation We've not had enough here in Africa. Um, interestingly, why Africa should be a center of this discussion? I mean, looking back at the 2050 Africa's Integrated Maritime Strategy, it clearly spells out that Africa is the second largest uh, island on the planet, second largest island, which means it covers an area of around approximately 43 million square kilometers in terms of area. But interestingly, 23 million of people on the continent uh, depend on uh, fish for food and nutritional security, but 10 million of those people, they also generate income directly from fish resources. So this is very important if we're looking at the fisheries and environmental impact, uh, which both are up to uh, directly proportional. Dr. Edem Mahu hinted at some of the challenges of marine scientists and oceanographers. She mentioned funding and logistics, but emphasized on skill. Some of us call ourselves marine scientists and oceanographers, yet we have never come into direct contact with the ocean during our careers. And what I mean when I say this is that we lack personal skills. For example, we cannot swim. <laughs> Not to even talk about diving. The ocean, comprising 70% of our planet, plays several significant roles in our daily lives, including feeding us, regulating our climate, providing at least 50% of the oxygen we breathe, as well as serving as the foundation for most of the world's economy. Unfortunately, this important component of our planet, the very basis of our survival, has faced several challenges in the last decades including pollution, habitat degradation, warming, oxygen loss, acidification, and overfishing. As Arthur Clark said, how inappropriate to call this planet Earth when it is clearly ocean. Randy Ahaji, Wazor TV reports.